Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you this evening. Now, if you have been watching along, we have been working on this Gottlieb Masquerade pinball machine for quite a while now uh, because it was in pretty rough shape when we got it. So we did a video where we worked through the bottom of it. We did a video where we worked through the head of it. We did a video where we worked through the play field of it and the underplay field of it. And we did a video where we fixed up the, uh, the, back, the beautiful black glass. Say hello, Mask Beauty. <laughs> the beautiful, a little bit weird back glass. Um, and we have now got to the point where we need to fix this thing. Like actually get it to work. Right? So we did all of this as like prep work to get it to work. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So I have my trusty notepad. These are our buddies down the road in Gastonia that uh, do printing. They've been there for forever, and they bring us these notepads. Now, some of you perverts in uh, in uh, <laughs> the United Kingdom keep going, tee hee hee, snicker, snicker, snicker. I can't really uh, do a British accent, but you keep giving me all kinds of crap about my notepads, and I just don't understand. I don't understand why you would do that. Someone explained to me what's so funny about it. But I still didn't see why I would stop using the, the notepad. So you have to explain to me why that's a bad thing if you want me to. You know, so I, don't, I don't get what you're saying. But anyway, we're going to use our trusty notepad like we do in all of our videos. And we're going, to, we're going to play this thing and then write down every damn thing we can figure out that's wrong with it. And then we're going to wham, 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 systematically fix it. What do you think about that? So... That's what this video is going to be all about. Now, before we get too far into it, give us a thumbs up, people. What are you waiting for? We already started all the coolness. Just looking at this thing is cool. So give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. And if you uh, haven't heard about it, make sure to check out my brother Donnie's channel. We've been over there working on my truck that uh, we used to pick up arcade games, or used to use to pick up arcade games with. Uh, it's got a lift gate and a rack and all that on it. We're trying to get the engine running right, and we almost got it, but not quite yet. So go check out my brother Donnie. The link is down below. We're having lots of fun over there. It has nothing to do with arcade games, though. So we, uh, we need to play it a little bit and see what's going on. So let me go get a pinball and put a pinball in it, and then that way we can play pinball. Alright folks, so I have a pinball in it. It is in game over mode. Although, uh, yeah, game over. Okay. So we're going to start it. I haven't really done anything to it yet, so it may not reset. I don't know. But if it does reset, the 259 should go back to zero. Well, that would be the first thing. Alright folks, so the very first thing is it won't do anything when you hit the start button. I hit it hard enough that it moved the tilt on the door. There's a switch there that if it moves you'll see it spark maybe. Yeah. See that spark? It's opening up the, the uh, tilt switch. So we tilted it, but it would not start a game. So Yes, I'm going to write that down. Won't <laughs> start. That's pretty important, isn't it? So let's look in the schematics see if we can figure out what you need to what all we need to start it. So here are the schematics. You can get the schematics for any pinball machine, and especially all the Gottlieb ones from Steve Young at the Pinball Resource, 8 Commerce Street. Pukipski, New York. I bet I misspelled. I bet I mispronunciated that. No further reproduction permitted. So I'm going to show part of these schematics on this video, which I don't consider a reproduction. <laughs> I'm not trying to uh, uh, skirt around somebody having to buy these. Um, I'm just trying to show people that they need them. So hopefully, uh, people will take this video of me showing these schematics. And you go bite the bullet and buy, buy your own schematics. Now look how big they are, too. I mean, it's a hell of a product. They're basically selling you a reproduction of the original schematics. This is exactly what you need to fix one. 
without these, you're probably not going to be able to fix it. If you were good enough where you had worked on enough of them, maybe. If you took enough time to track down every little wire, maybe. You, you could probably make your own schematic if you took the time. But Or you could spend, I think they're $16, and get this. This is what you need, folks. So how do you use the schematics? So our problem is we press the button and nothing happens. So now what do we do? Like what good are these? Well this is a schematic drawing of how everything in the machine works. So you see it's broke right now and by the end of the video hopefully it'll be working. If it isn't I probably won't upload the video. <laughs> so how do you use the schematics to figure out what's going on? Well it's not going to tell you hey press this, do this, clean this. You have to use a little bit of logic. So we're trying to start the game I'm pressing the button and nothing happens. Not even anything inside turns on or turns off or anything. So when I press the button, nothing. So what should we look at first? Well, in schematics, we need to find the button to see what's supposed to happen, right? So if you look, there were two wires running to it. There's not a double switch or anything. It's just a regular switch. And if you look all over these things on the schematics, Usually down here somewhere near the transformer, you can find uh, the replay switch. So I see it right there. Replay button switch. So when I press the button, I am connecting those two together. Right? So what should that do? Well, we want the power comes in over here on the line cord. And we are trying to uh, start up the game. So there is already power on the transformer because some of the lights are on and all of that. Whenever I hit this button, it's going to connect this side, if this is closed and all this is closed and blah, 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 of the cord, right, to this side of the cord and make that coil come on. So that coil is coil number E. So you see the, the left side of the line cord comes through the fuse, it goes through the bounce switch, which is the switch on the bottom of the cabinet, it goes through the shutoff switch, it goes through the anti-cheat switch, and then it comes up here and it goes through either the H relay, I mean the uh, K relay or the R relay or the W relay, and connects to the left side of that transformer. Well, we have lights on. So the transformer is connected right now. If it wasn't, you wouldn't have any lights on. When you first plug the game in, though, you won't even have lights on. And then the other side of the, of the transformer, these little squiggly lines, if you look, is connected over here to the line cord, right? So we have power over to here. See the SB relay with the line through it? That says that the SB relay normally is closed. See how there's two lines and then a dash between a, a, a hash a hash between them. So that in its normal position that should be closed. If it is, you will get power over here to this uh, um, line here, which means that this side of the button has power. And then if motor one C is in its home position, it will be normally closed. And then if PB hasn't been tripped, it will be normally closed. And then if W hasn't tripped, it will be normally closed. And then there's a normally open zero position replay unit switch. And then if all that is going on, the E relay will pull in. Well, that's not happening. So one of these switches that it mentions is screwed up. So SB says up here is, let me find it. Right. right here. 17 E S B is the start relay. So the start relay should not have been pulled in yet. Okay? So if this if S B has not been pulled in, then it is at its normal position. So its normal position is what everything is at on the schematics. So if S B has not been pulled in, then it's the start relay. It shouldn't have. Nothing started, right? That switch should be normally connected. So I should have 
half of the power up to this replay button. Again, I'm not looking at the anti-cheat switch, the shutoff switch, the bounce switch, or the fuse, any of that, because we're getting power to the transformer. So we're going to look at this SB relay and see if that switch is connected like it should be. So how do you figure out which switch it is? Well, you can tell by the color. See the wire here is orange, so the wire going to one side of that normally closed switch in its normal position is orange, and the wire going to the other side is black. So you look on the SB relay for the black and the orange wire, and you see if they're closed right now like they ought to be. If they are, then you move on to the next one. So to go up to the replay button switch, uh, it connects to one side of the switch, and then the other side of the switch has a brown wire that connects to motor 1C. So then you go to motor 1C and you look where the brown wire and the purple wire connect to a normally closed switch in its home position, you know, when it's just sitting here, and you see if they're making good connection. And if they are, then you move on. And it's the, uh, the PB relay, so the, the PB4 relay. PB4. What is that? Mmm, see the PB4? fourth player relay. I think that one's tripped. That's how I got all the lights on. See all the lights are on? So I think that relay is on. So it can't connect through the PB4 relay because I've tripped it. So now it's open. So it would have to connect through the H relay. So the H relay is normally closed. So the H relay is the 30 volt hold relay. Well it is on. Or it was on until I tilted it. Maybe it's not because I tilted it. Hmm. We'll check that. Now it was on because it wasn't tilted before and it wouldn't work either. So the H relay should be on. Right. And then it, it should connect through a normally closed switch on the W relay. So what the hell is the W relay? <laughs> The W relay is the extra shoot relay, so I don't even know what that is. The reason that they have it like that is because they're trying to make sure that there are, there's coins on the game, right? Alright, so the W re relay should be norm normally closed. Okay, and then this one, see how it says, this one's open, the zero position replay unit. See how it's open, so the power can't connect because it's open? Well, that's if the replay unit is in the zero position i.e. you have no replays. If you do, if you have no credits on the machine, this switch opens and no matter how much you press the start button, the replay button, if all these are closed even, it won't start because that switch will be open. So you got to make sure you got credits on the machine so that that switch is closed. Right? And then that connects to E. So everything, if this is right, so let's say you got a credit on it, so that's closed. W is closed. H is closed. Motor 1C is at the home position, so it's closed. When you press this replay button, that closes the, the connection and turns on the E relay. So the E relay is... the replay button relay. <laughs> Alright, so how am I going to fix it? I just showed you. I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at all of those switches. Yeah, you have to do all that. So I'm going to go look at that switch and see if it looks like it's connecting. And then I'm going to go look at the motor 1C switch and see if it looks like it's connecting. Then I'm going to go look at the H relay switch and see if it looks like it's connecting. And the W uh, switch and look like, see if it looks like it's connecting. And the zero position replay unit switch and look see if it looks like it's connecting. And I'll find one of them messed up and then that'll fix that part of it. Okay, I hit start and it reset, but it didn't reset all the way. But I'm going to show you what I found. It was... The very first switch. This switch on the SB relay is not closed like it should be. So it won't start, no longer applies, but let's say uh, first scores don't reset. Because it flew around a 360 and then it stopped. Now I have not cleaned the score reels yet. Because I kind of wanted to show you what happens if you don't. So we got to do that. Four score, first scores didn't reset. Now another thing. The last ball in play light is on and it should not be on. Okay. Last ball 
in play, light, stuck, on. All right, now also, I have noticed before that the one players can play at the same time, light does not work. Two, three, and four do. One player can play, light is out. Okay. We also have our roto projector. Three of them are lighting up, two of them are not. Two lights out on roto projector. There may be a reason for that. We'll figure it all out. All right, and it dropped the ball, and so now we have the ball out. So everything's cool. I'm just going to shoot it through and just see if anything obvious screws up. Oop. Okay, it went back to the first player, so that's all good. See how it says same player shoots again when lit. So I wonder. So you saw when I lost the ball, nothing happened. But that might be just the way that they made these back then. So whenever I go across that rollover up there at the top, perhaps it will uh, turn off that light. Yep. The roto target is spinning, and now another light is out. So maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. All right, uh, the back glass does not say the ball in play. Back glass does still not say the ball in play. Okay, oh, okay, look. Now it's well lit up. Last ball in play. So, the problem is not. Last ball in play, light is stuck on. It's half <laughs> stuck on. Now that might sound like, who cares? You know, it's, that's some kind of clue. We'll figure that out. So that much worked. The ball and play lights did not work. Also, at the end of the game, the other players' lights don't light up. But I think it's designed like that. End of game. Lights don't light up. It's hard to write with just one hand while I'm bleh. Um and then uh, also, uh, what else did we say? The roto target lights. Yep, yeah, we got that. Oh, the ball and play lights. Ball in play lights don't work. Okay, so we're gonna play it again, and now we're gonna we're gonna check for scores and things. So watch, it's not going to reset. Actually. That time it did. Maybe it has fixed itself. 
the mass beauty is fixing it uh, herself for us. And look at this too. See how those didn't reset? It's hard to see with the lights on, but there's only three that have not been turned out. Right? I think it does that though. I think it holds over from game to game. Another interesting thing about this game, look what this says. Times target values. Okay, so the target values are on the roto target. So three of them are burnout, like I said. Two and two is what are lit up right now. One time the target value. Well, I can make that ten times the target value, which would make each of those worth 20 points. Or you can make it a hundred times the target value, which would make each one of those worth 200 points. So, kind of a crazy game. You can get a hundred times bonus. Right? Okay, uh... So yeah, so we're just going to score, right? So this switch here, it can tell whenever the ball leaves the uh, thing. So I guess I want you to hit that. Let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, okay. So again, masked. M, A, S, and K are still on, but E and D are turned off. And then beauty doesn't have other targets, just those. Okay, so this should be 10 points, I guess. Okay, and this one should be 10 points. Okay. Uh, this should be 10 points. And this should be 10 points, and then this should make 100. Okay, so the 100 is sticking. Hundred reel is hanging. Okay, but those switches are working. So we're gonna turn off the S and the K, which will give us all of our mast. 10, that turned it off, and it turned it off there. Okay, so we have spelled masked. Um, and so if I hit the last couple to get the beauty thing, I guess there's three left. Or something like that. So that turned on the hundred time target value. Wow. So this should give us 200 points. We're at 150. It did not. It didn't give us anything. She waved at us, and it reset the masked beauty thing, but we didn't get the points. Okay. So the roto target. Not scoring 100 po point bonus. 100 times bonus. Y'all can read all that, right? Good thing I'm here. Okay, let's see if the rotor target works whenever it's on one time. See if the lights dim, but let's see. No, it's not doing nothing. Nothing. So the rotor target is just not scoring. Rotor target not scoring. Okay, that's fine. I wonder how we get to 10 times. Is it we get all of these? Okay. I don't know what that was. Was that it trying to turn on the 10? We're systematically working through it, people. 10 points when lit. That's not working. 10 points when lit, so it's one, I guess, if it's not lit. Yeah, I definitely need to, I definitely need to clean all those. That ain't working right. All right, 10 points when lit does not work.
Okay, uh, what else have we got? Five points spin. I don't know why it says spin, but it does. Oh, it's going to spin the roto target. Okay, that makes sense. So I should go to 220, and that should spin. Well, it did spin. I didn't go to 220, though. It's not even trying. Okay. So five points doesn't work either. Okay. This says, when lit, hitting the star target, lights shoot again. Oh, star target is on the roto target. Okay. Well, that actually works. All right, so uh, that's about it. So we should get 10 points on our kickers. We did. We did. Uh, we got a little target here. One point. One point, that's working. One point, that's working. One point, that's working. So another thing that's going on that uh, is there's no one point sound. Or I guess... Oh yeah, that sound you heard was when it rolled over to 10. So that's the one. And then this will be the 10. So no one point sound. But if you watch the other ones, you know that's because the bell's missing. I'm just writing it down so I don't forget about it. Okay, so uh, I think we've checked everything on the play field and wrote down everything that doesn't work. Um, so let me do this. Let's... Uh, See if we can start a multiplayer game or not, if that's working. Look, now there are three lit up. I'm wondering if that's a feature. Or if it's just loose bulbs. So I gotta keep my eye on it. I mean, I guess I could just throw it down. I'm trying to do it the, <laughs> the regular way. Okay, it says last ball to play. playing itself. There we go. Alright, so it's game over and the match is working. See the 7 popped up earlier. It said 9. Okay, so we're going to try to start a multiple player game. Okay, so that's 1. That's 2. Sit down at the bottom. 3. Four. Now it shouldn't let me start a five player game, but it did. And a six. And a seven. Okay. So, let's you start five player game. Well, we got a lot broke here, people. Nobody ever maintained this thing? What in the world? All right, so now I'm going to see if it goes between player one, two, and three, and four. Okay. Okay, I think we're on three, maybe. Yeah, we're on three, but the player three lights aren't working. 
player. Three lights. Dead. But player four isn't. Okay, and so after this one, it should go back to one. Damn, player player four is getting it going. That must be George. All right, so back to one. Okay, so that's probably going to work. So we've got our list here, folks. We got it all. We got a lot cut out for us. So we ended up with the first scores don't reset right, but then it did the second time. So, but you can see how they're hanging and all that. So what that means is I need to go through and. and uh, clean and adjust all of the score units, which I usually do beforehand, but I haven't done yet on this one. So, I've, you know, now you see why. If you don't, they hang and don't go over to the next uh, score right and all that. Okay, the uh, last ball and play, play light is half on all the time. The one player can play light is out at the bottom. Two lights are out on the roto projector at least. And they seem to change which lights are out, so we need to look at what lights those up, really. Um, I couldn't resist. I'm kind of looking right now. <laughs> I see them up there. All right, we'll figure that out. Uh, the, end of game, the end of game lights don't light up, but I mean by that the two, three, and four player lights don't come on, but I think that's by design, but we're just going to check it. The ball and play lights don't work. Uh, down at the bottom, it says first ball in play, second ball, third ball, fourth ball, fifth ball. None of those turn on ever. Uh, the hundred reel was hanging on the first player, but that will probably be fixed whenever I clean them because they're not resetting right either. The roto target is not scoring when it was on uh, one times and when it was on a hundred times, and we need to see what makes it go on ten times. Uh, the five, the ten points when lit does not work on the pop bumpers. The five point spin. The spin worked, but the five points didn't. There's no one-point bell sounding because it's out of the machine. <laughs> I ordered another one. Look at this. This is the life this thing has had. The bell cracked. Somebody scored a point so strong that it broke the bell. Fear not. It lets you start a five, six, seven, or eight player game, and the player three lights are dead. But besides that, it works perfect. All right, folks, so that's where we're at so far. It's going to take us forever to fix it, so we can't do it all in this video. So we're going to stop here. We'll do another video up tomorrow um, as we work through each one of those problems. We've got our little list, and we will run through it. So hope you've enjoyed it so far. What do you think? We're going to get there? We've got to get there eventually, right? She keeps getting stuck with the thing down. That's another one I've got to put on the list. Her 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 uh, fan keeps getting stuck down. It's supposed to hide her. All right, so leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also subscribe to our brother's channel, my brother Donnie. I'm over there all the time. If you, uh, It has nothing to do with arcade games, though. Uh, but go check it out. You might enjoy it. And uh, if you uh, feel so inclined... Make sure to click our Amazon links below before you buy anything on Amazon. So we have Amazon links for the United Kingdom, Spain, the United States, Canada, Italy, France, Germany. We're worldwide, people. So we appreciate everybody that's been doing that. If you click that link before you buy anything on Amazon, it sends us a little royalty. It sends us a little royalty uh, for sending you there. So we appreciate everybody that's been doing that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far, and uh, if you have any ideas about why some of this stuff isn't working, put them down below, and then we'll check your your uh, your guess against uh, against what we figure out tomorrow. See you then.